Okay. All right. So good evening, everybody. <gasps> Only four people here right now. Uh-oh. All right. So uh so so today it, this is the fourth session. Okay, that this is where we um today we're, we're gonna cover the concluding paragraph for the IELTS based opinion essay. And so yeah, sorry, I forgot to uh post the link until just about 20 minutes ago. I actually totally forgot to send um uh send the link out. So I'll probably have to so I'll send the link out from now on. I'll send the links out every Sunday night for the following weekend. Uh, just today. Um, yeah, I was I was teaching all day online. Uh, so on Saturdays, uh, my schedule is a little busy. I have I teach uh, like se seven hours online every Saturday. But okay, all right. Well, we're gonna go ahead and let's just get started here. Maybe we'll have fewer people here today since I forgot to send out the link um, on time. But today, okay, so today what we're going to talk about, um, first of all, we're going to talk about what does compare and contrast mean. And then we'll cover comparative adjectives. And then superlative adjectives, like versus as. And then compare and contrast uh, sentence construction. And then we'll finish off with covering the concluding paragraph for an IELTS-based opinion essay. All right. Okay. So I guess that we just heard from Stella. Stella, can you hear me? Stella, are you there? Can you hear me? Yes, I'm. Yes, I am. All right. So can you turn on your camera? Okay, so so how are you today? I'm I'm fine. How about you, sir? Uh, I'm good. I'm a little bit Saturdays for me. I'm always a little busy, but yeah, it's a good good day today. So how about now, Stella? Can you read this, please? Yes. Compare and con compare and contrast. What is the difference between compare and contrast? Mm, so what what's the difference? Um, for the compare, uh, to be compared with each other, compare each other. Okay. And what's contrast? Contrast is for the, um, for the conclusion, I think. Oh, is that your <laughs> final answer? Like a, like a, like a summary, like a, like contract is like a summary and thing. No, it's a little different. So compare is where you have two things and you see how they're similar or two or more things. And then contrast is where you have two or more things and you see how they're different. Um, yeah. so that, that's the difference, okay? Compare versus contrast. Okay, so now, uh, Stella, can you choose somebody? Oh, now we got 10 people. Uh, yes, let me see. Uh, kind Ted, I'm too kind Ted. Kind Ted, oh, no, no. No? <laughs> no. Uh, I'm too Theta Wing, I'm too. Who, who, who do you choose? Theta Wing. Theta Wing, can you hear me? Theta, Theta Wing? Yes. Yes. All right, okay, so can, can you turn on your camera? Okay, see Darwin. Okay, there we go. Okay. All right. So so how are you today? So so. So so. Well, why 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 so so? I feel a little bit sick. Uh oh. Oh you, you uh oh. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope I, I hope you feel better. Okay. But oh, thank can, you. Can, can you read number one, please? A last city, uh, a small town. Okay. So if you were gonna. If you had these two, would you compare or would you contrast? Uh, can you repeat it again? Okay. So when you look at, if you're going to, if you had a large city versus a small town, would you compare these two things? Meaning, would you see how they're, would you tell how they're similar or would you, or would you see how they're different and contrast? Which one would you do? I 
thing is our con contract. Contrast, okay. Hey, both, both, yeah. both are okay. Either is okay. Okay. So if you're going to contrast, can you give me an example? Um, city and town, right? City yeah, a, and... a large city, small town. How, yeah. how, how are they different? A large city is a, maybe it's a, in a downtown and a big city <laughs> and small town, is a little town in a, in a, Countryside, I like it. Okay. All right. Okay. Good. All right. Now, uh, can you choose somebody? Who do you choose? To rain me. I'm sorry. To rain me. Okay. To red men. Yeah. Okay. Su Su Ren Min. Su Re Su Ren Min, are you there? Uh, yes, sir. He lost his connection. Oh, he did, huh? All right. So is so. This is me, Cha. Yes. All right. So we'll, I, I guess we'll we'll go to you. Okay. You want to turn on your camera? Yes, sir. Oh, all right. Uh, Can you read this? Study in one's country versus study abroad. Okay. So for this one, would you compare or contrast? I would compare. Okay. So for example. Because Yes, because both are studying, only the place are different. Okay, all right, very good. All right, now, uh, can you choose somebody? Yes, sir. Please wait. Um, I will choose Grace. Grace. Grace, are you there? Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, so how, how are you today? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Oh, that's good. That's good. So tell me, what, what's, yeah. what, what's, what's mm -hmm. one, one exciting thing that, that you did today? <laughs> I don't think I, uh, I didn't do anything exciting. So because it's just same as usual. So. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, can you read number three? Yeah. Using cash versus using a credit card. So would you compare a contrast? Um, so, uh, Mr. Eddie, I have a question. So I have no, I, I don't really get the point of like, what is compare or how do we contrast? Or, so I don't really like clear this out. Okay. Yeah. So compare, this means you see how things are similar. Contrast, mm -hmm. you see how things are different. Okay. Uh, I so see. In, in both of these, you, you can both compare or contrast. Okay, but how about for you, um, for using cash or using credit card, what comes to mind first? A comparison or a um, contrast? Contrast. Okay, so for example? Uh, for example, I would say that uh, using cash is, mm, uh, sorry, using credit card is more convenient, I would say. Okay, all right, okay, very nice. Okay, now, uh, can you choose somebody? Yeah, uh, Henry. Henry, are you there? Hello. Hello. Okay. All right. Oh. Henry, it is uh, your Hello. camera working? Yeah. Is your camera working? Okay. Okay. Good. So, how, how are you? How are you? Oh, just turned off. So, tell me, how are yeah. you tonight? Mm. So, so. so so why why so so <laughs> what why so so you don't know you don't know okay Let, let's read number four please okay the rule of a model we ask a rule of father all right so Tell me, for this one, would you compare or contrast? Contract. Contrast, okay. So, yes. so for example. So, Henry? 
So how is the role of a mother and the role of a father different? Oh, you see, I don't know. Henry? Hello? Yeah. How is the role of a mother and the role of the father different? I don't know. What, what do you think? So your, your own mother and your own father, how is their role different? Okay, we'll go to somebody else here. All right, how about, we'll go, how about Yin Yin? Yin Yin, are, are you there? Yes. All right, can you turn on your camera, please? All right, how about, how about number four? What, what do you think? I think the contract, the role of a mother, like the role of a mother is taking care of the children and like doing the house chore while the role of the father is doing the job for their family, for his family. Okay, okay, all right, very nice. Now, uh, can you choose somebody? Yes. Heaven. Heaven. H -E -V -E -N. Okay. Okay. Heaven, are you there? Heaven, can you hear me? Yes. All right. Okay. And can, no, can you turn on your camera? Heaven? Yeah. Yes, I hear you. Okay. Now, can you read number five? Oh, yes. Can you read number five? Yes. Okay. Uh, bus and trains. Okay. So with buses and trains, would you compare or contrast? I think it's compare. Okay, compare. Okay. So then how, how are they similar? Um, is uh, how similar is uh, like uh, transportation the same, but uh, the same, not the same shape. Okay, okay, yeah, they're, they're both they're both modes of transportation. Okay. Yes. Now, uh oh, can, can you choose somebody? No. Who do you choose? Um. I would choose Mi Cha. Mi Cha? Yes, yes, sir. All right. So now this one's a little different. So this is where we use, we're going to make a comp uh, complete a comparative sentence. So how would you yes. finish? How would you finish the sentence? Um, mm, sorry. Uh, Sarah is busier than Mary. It is okay, sir. Yeah, perfect. Very good. So Sarah is busier than Mary. Okay. Now, uh, can can you choose somebody? Who do you choose? Yes, I will choose um Terry. Um, you said you said Telly. Are you there, Terry? Telly? Uh, right. Yes, uh, uh, I'm Terry. Okay, all right. Uh, can, can, can you turn on your camera? Uh, yeah, okay, sir. Okay. okay, all right, good. So how are you tonight? Mm, a little bit uh, tired. Oh, I feel dizzy. Uh oh. Well, I, I hope you feel better. But can you, uh, how, how would you finish this sentence? Uh, the sun is hotter than the end. Than the earth. Okay, very good. Good job. Now, uh, can you choose somebody? Mm, I would choose Cameron. 
You said Cameron? Yeah, K A M E R O N. Oh, Cameron. Cameron, Cameron, are you there? No, Cameron. Okay, how about I'll choose. How about Noel? Noel, are you there? Yes, I'm here, chair. All right. So, can you turn on your camera? Okay. All right. So, how are you tonight? Uh, tonight is great. Great. Why? Why is it great? Or why are you great tonight? Because um. Nothing to do. <laughs> so nothing to do. So 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 you come to class, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, uh, how would you finish this sentence? Mm. <clears throat> At is leisure than the moon. Okay. Perfect. Very good. Now, um, you want to choose somebody? Yeah. Um, Grace. You said Grace. I would choose Grace. Okay. Grace, are you there? Yes. <laughs> oh, all right. Okay, here we go. So how would you finish this one? Um, elephants are bigger than horses. Okay, good. Good job. All right, now uh, you want to choose somebody? Uh, yeah. So I would choose... Mm, see, Stella. Stella? Stella, are you there? Yes, sir. All right. Okay, good. Now, how would you finish this one? Action movie is more exciting than a uh, company. <clears throat> well, close. So, action movie is what? Um, as a movie, uh, as a movie, are uh, more exciting than company. Sorry, sir. Okay, okay. Now tell me why. Why did we say? Why did you say more exciting and not excitinger? Why? Because uh, they uh, they are they, they are like um, a sound tree behind. Uh, sound. Can I say? <laughs> how about, how, okay. How about, let me. Um, Where's it? Here we go. Maybe, right, right. Maybe the word you're looking for is this one, right? Can, can you see what yeah. I like? Yeah, so syllables. Okay, so so what, what's the rule? Do you know the rule? No? Okay, so I'm going to choose somebody. Somebody that's super cool. How about Cheryl super cool? Cheryl, super cool. Are you there? Yes, sir. Oh, how, how was your internet tonight? Yes, I'm me? here, sir. Oh, okay, good. All right. So, so you, you're, you're going to tell us so, so, since you're my, you're my, you're, you're in my class, my university class. So you can tell us what is the grammar rule? So when do we use ER um, and when do we use more? What's what's the what's the gr grammatical rule? Cheryl, can you hear me? So in in comparative degree, you we use E R and Matt because yes, I can hear you, sir. Okay. Can you hear me? The connection is not stable. Yeah, yeah. So we use E R font in comparing when and one to when, just. Uh, how can I say two two pronouns like big to bigger and just like that and for more and match how can I say it? Uh, three three sounds in three sounds interesting like okay. uh, interesting so more interesting like that okay. okay now it's not sounds what what what's what uh can, did you see what I what I typed in the chat box. It's not sounds, but it's what? I, I'm looking for something Sorry. specific. Can you see that? Uh, syllables, three syllables, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Are uh, interesting, so interesting, like more interesting. Yeah, so we have 
Interesting. So it's four. Okay. Now, okay. How about how about, how about two syllable words? Is it er or more? Which one do we use? For two syllable word, we use er. Okay. So actually, what it is? Okay. If it's one syllable, we we use er or est, like big, bigger, biggest. Uh, then if it's more than two, generally, usually it's more or most but then if it's two syllables that's a tricky one because sometimes er sometimes they're more or most and some sometimes they're both so it's just uh, uh that, that that's a little tricky part okay all right so now how about i'll choose somebody here um cameron are, are, are you there no not here okay Yes, I'll choose somebody else. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. C can you turn on your camera? All right. So, okay. Now, now this one is a little different. Okay. This is a superlative. So, um, how would you finish this sentence? To the top, this plan in our solar system. Oh, a little different. Oh, what does that say? It's the biggest. Okay, okay, yeah. So for a um, comparative, we'll use than, uh, you know, are more exciting than. But for a um, superlative, what you don't want to forget is you don't want to forget the word the. So is the big one. Okay. So Cameron, can you choose somebody? Who do you choose? I choose. Mean we met. Who? Mean we met. Uh, you said Min Min Lawi Marn, yes. Yeah. Okay, Min Lawi Marn, are you there? Yes, sir. All right. So can you turn the camera? Okay, good. Yes. Okay. All right. So tell us. So how how are you tonight? Yeah, I'm not really good because the weather is really hot here. Okay. Okay. Actually, my, my room is very cool because I have a nice, in my office, I have a nice air conditioner. <laughs> but okay. All right. So next one here. Can you, can you, how would you finish this sentence? We what? Um, we bought the most expensive TV in the store. That is perfect. Yeah, very good. All right. So now, uh, can you choose somebody? Min Lawi Marn, who, who do you choose? Nope, okay. How about, how about you somebody? Clara, are you there? <clears throat> yes, sir. All right, can you turn on your camera? Mm. <laughs> okay, all right. So now, can you, how would you finish this sentence? Uh, yes, uh, which sport do you think the most dangerous? Oh, oh, close, you're missing one word. So which sport do you think? Mm. So. Uh, which sport do you think the most dangerous? Close, is the most dangerous. Yeah. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, because because remember for for every for every sentence you need two things. You need a subject and a verb. Okay. All right. So now, uh, okay. Can you choose somebody? Yes. Mm, I'm gonna choose yes. Twin Twin Han Chu. Okay. Hello, sir. Okay, all right, good. 
All right. Oh, so you're okay. TJ, right? Yeah. All right. Can you turn on your camera? My uh, teacher uh, allowed me to close my camera. We have a really, you know, blackout here. Long okay. blackout. It's it's being, you know, electricity is cut out very okay. long. So. Okay, that, that's fine. Uh, how would you finish this sentence? Um, my class is uh, the the laziest animal I know. Yes. Okay. So this is a another, a two syllable one. You have to yes, be careful uh, because sometimes two syllables words it can be using um, um, more or most or or e r e s t. But okay. Now T J, can you choose somebody? Yeah, DJ, I have a question that how could we you know differentiate between uh yeah two syllable even the two syllable there might be some some word that we have to use more or most and some word we have to use e r or e s e. So how do we differentiate between those kind okay. of Okay, so you, you you didn't read you didn't read the book I sent sent to all of you, did you? Uh, yeah, because <laughs> I I, expl no, I I explained it all in there, but but um, <clears throat> just remember um, that there is no easy way. You just have to remember. Uh, but for the one syllable words, we use uh, e r, e s t, and then for more than two syllables, generally it's going to be um, more or most. And the ones with two syllables, some some are some are er, some are more, and then some are both. Um, so you just it's just you have to remember. But yeah, I, I explain in in greater detail in uh, in uh, the book I sent you. Okay, so all of you. So I I, I would recommend read the book. Okay. <laughs> all right. Okay. Um, next person. Uh, okay. How about Thet Hatar? Yes. All right. So, how would you finish this one? Uh, the response of this was, uh, the response of the, the best food in town. Yes, yeah, the, the best, best food. Okay, good. So, th this is one of the yeah. irregular ones. So, good, better, yes. best. Okay. All right. Now, <clears throat> uh, can you choose somebody? Yes, teacher. Uh, I choose. Uh, Nolia. Uh, N O E L L E Noli. Yes, Noli. Um. So who is it? N O E L L E Noli. Yes. M O. N O E L L E. Oh, oh Noel. I I'm here. All right, yes, Noel. Nora. No Noel, can, can you turn on your camera? Uh, yes. Sure. All right. Okay. All right. So now, how um, would you finish this one? Uh, my sister is very artist. Uh, artist. She is not at the lightest as me. As me. Okay. Uh, okay. Good. So why 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 do you think you used as and not like? Why do you think uh, so? Because um, she is uh, uh, she's similar like me. I think. Okay. All right. Maybe. Okay. Now, can, can you choose somebody? Yes, sure. Um, hack. Hack. I will choose hack. Hack. Let me see. Yeah. Here. Okay. Hack. Are you there? Uh, hello. Oh, okay. <laughs> hello. Can, can you turn on your camera? Uh, sorry. Oh, I have a problem with my camera. Okay, it's okay. How would you finish this sentence? Uh, today is Friday, so today, uh, like on every Friday, we wear a cousin wear. Like okay, all right, good. Now, uh, can you choose somebody? Uh, yeah. Uh, Nico. Nico. I'm going to choose Nico. Nico, are you there? Yeah. Nico, yes. So you have the picture of the dog. <laughs> Nico, yes. Yes. All right, can, can, you, can you turn on your camera? 
All right, good. How would you finish this one? Oh, need to turn back off. Okay. How would you finish this sentence? Uh, I have had my hair cut and styled, as you can see. As you can see, yes. So why? What? Why did you use as and not like? As you can see. <laughs> what? Why do you think so? <laughs> Nico. Um, uh, maybe in the present about about his haircut. Maybe. Okay. All right. Now uh, I want you. Can you choose somebody? Yeah, I'm gonna choose. Yeah, the name. So who is it? Yeah, the name. Hello. Oh, hello. Okay, so yet in our moment. All right, can, can you turn on your camera? Hello, close. Okay, all right. Well, then tell me, how would you finish this sentence? Julie is a co uh, completely overworked. She was at a slave. You said as, as, as a slave? As like as, Is it she as? Will like a slave. Like a slave, good. So why why did you use like and not as? Be, because she is like a slave. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So so the the general rule is um, when using like or as. So like what what you're doing is you're usually comparing two subjects. So you're comparing Julie uh, to a slave. But as, back here, what this was, is as this was your kind of connecting two parts of the sentence together. That's the main the main difference. Okay. So, Yadina Mon, can, can you choose somebody? Okay. Hmm. I'm sorry, who? Point. See here. Poin. Poin. So P O I N. Yes. Poin. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. All right. And can, can you turn on your camera? Poin. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. All right. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. Now, how would you finish this sentence? Um, he is a really good swimmer. He can swim like with, like, like a fish. Yes, very good, like a fish. Okay, all right. So now I want you, um, can you choose somebody, Poin? Yes, please wait. Okay. Um, I will choose Dida Win. Dida Win? Yes. Okay, Sita Win, are you there? Yeah. All right, okay, here we go. So now, can you read this, please? Compare construct <coughs> paragraph writings. Zero one, write a topic sentence for a compare and contract paragraph on the following topic. Plastic, plastic surgery or not. So now, do you know what plastic surgery is? Uh, plastic surgery, like we uh, do a surgeon and replace some some part in our body. Okay. Or usually plastic surgery is kind of like... Um, like a nose? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, very good. So what, what do you think? Plastic surgery, is it a good idea or a bad idea? Uh, I... I, I afraid something, but I don't know about how other things. <laughs> okay, so now I want you write a topic sentence about plastic surgery. Can you tell me a, a topic sentence, like for example, if it's good or bad, and tell us why. Um, like the um, uh, 
the popularity of plastic surgery. I'm sorry, what? Nowadays, plastic surgery is very popular. Okay. All right. Very good. Good job. Now, um, can you choose somebody? Let me see. Yin Yin. You said uh, yin, yin. yin Yin. Oh, Yin yeah. Yin. Okay, yes. All right. So, can you uh, can you read this? Write a topic sentence for a compare and contract paragraph on the following topic: getting a part-time job versus partying in college. Mm, so, which which do you prefer? Getting a part-time job. Okay. And so, why? Why is getting a part-time job better? Because I think we can get work experience. Okay. Okay. Very Is good. For our study either. All right. Good. Now, uh, can you choose somebody? Okay. Yes. Funne. F U N N N N E H. Who is it? Oh, fun. Funne. Funne, are you there? N N E H. Funne. Yeah. Fana, are you there? Yeah. All right. Okay. So, so we have about one, we have about one minute left uh, before we get kicked out of the meeting here. But can you can you read this one? Um, write the topic standards for a compare and contrast paragraph on the following topic: ebooks or textbooks. So, which do you prefer, ebooks or textbooks? Is that ebook my English book? Uh, no, ebook means like a, like an online book. So, uh, on I will totally be for online book. Yeah. Okay, so which which do you prefer? Ebooks. Ebooks and why? Why ebooks? Ebooks like yeah, or if um if anything. I'm sorry. What? Like you know, there are a lot of books. Like, it's gonna be you know, awesome. Okay. All right. All right. So now, um, can, can you can you choose somebody? <coughs> Who do you choose? <coughs> uh, 